This is how you crochet the shell stitch. Our beginning chain is going to be multiples of six plus one, and we're gonna add our first single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then we're going to skip two chains and add five double crochet into the next one. And that is going to be our first shell. Now, when I say that our beginning chain is multiples of six plus one, that means that you can start your chain with any number that you like, as long as it is a multiple of six, and then you add one chain for the turning chain. That means that you need at least six chains to complete a shell. After our fifth double crochet, we're going to skip two chains again, and then we're going to add a single crochet into the next. And then we're going to skip two again and put five double crochet into the next one. And we're going to repeat that until we end our row in a single crochet in the very last stitch. This stitch is especially pretty if you change colors after every row, but in this example, I'm only going to change colors after the second row. After we have our last single crochet, we're going to chain three for our turning chain, and that chain three is going to count as a stitch. So we're going to add two double crochet into the same stitch and that'll be a half shell. And from there, we're just gonna repeat the same thing as in row one. We're gonna skip two stitches, add a single crochet, skip two more stitches, and add five double crochet. And the single crochet should end up on top of the shells, and the double crochet should end up on top of the single crochets from the previous row. If you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them every single day on my page. And if you have any questions or would like to request a stitch, just leave a comment below and I'll add it to my list. At the end of this row, we are gonna change colors. It's gonna be a quick version. Um, I have a whole nother video planned on actual color work. So if you'd like me to tag it in the comments below whenever it's ready, um, just let me know. But here I'm going to add three double crochet into the very last stitch. But for the third double crochet, I'm only going to start it. So I'm gonna start the stitch here. And now I'm going to finish it with my new color. Once I yarn over and pull through both loops, I'm gonna give it a gentle tug with the original color. Then I'm gonna chain one to keep it in place and work row three the same way I did the first row. Happy hooking!